thank you. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. My name is uh, Kuraizam Athoba, and I am a Meitei, the so-called Meitei Hindu that people around here are uh, talking about. So as this is a platform of United Nations, uh, I think everyone has a right to know the real facts and the truth that we need to address what's happening in Manipur. And I've been listening to all the uh, panel members who have been narrating the stories. And I won't narrate on rhetorics. I will come out with facts and figures and digitally proved records and data which nobody can't manipulate in any ways. So first of all, when we talk about the Hindu majority issues, we as a Maite in Manipur is not a majority. For the rest of India, it's a different case. When it comes to northeastern states of India, Maite is not a majority anymore. We represent hardly around 8.5 lakhs population. And the Christians in Manipur is around 12 lakhs. They comprise of around more than 53, 54 percent. Sorry, and I don't is want to interrupt you, but if you could just be as short as possible. We should have three minutes for the room. No, so but if you could we need to clarify the facts because yes, if you are narrating possible. in the wrong context, we need to check it out. Or shall, shall we go on with the wrong facts? We continue this debate and discussion. What's your intention then? We, we need to check it out. Number one, the religious card is never an issue in the uh, Manipur violence because Mete never targeted Christians. We have, Mete also has a Christian population of around, which is 45% of what the cookie populations are, Mete Christians. And they missed to inform that Mete churches are being completely vandalized and raised in the cookie dominated areas in Turachanpur, right on the first day before the target begin in Imphal. Okay, sir. That needs to be acknowledged. Thank you. Thank you and for here sharing. is the sequence of events. I would be grateful if we can meet after this and take the document and have the conversation. Sure. But if you don't have any let more me, questions, let I me would sum need up. to interrupt you because we have two minutes before we need to close this event. And I need to give the final word to this panel. So I need to interrupt you just because we have one more minute, uh, the lady from the United Nations. So we have to uh, basically conclude the event. Yes. Thank last, you. last part. Thank you, thank last you for question. sharing. No, no, last we will, question. We will meet after the event. But allow me, the let the document. audience know. Let the audience know yes, why are you? Why are we because completely we neglecting the, the issue of narco terrorism? We need to have the, the UN Odyssey has already reported. Churachandpur has a, become a hub of new golden triangle. Okay. Poppy cultivations we, has we already. We need to have the concluding remarks from the panel and then conclude. The yeah, event. before that we need to know the facts. That's why I'm Th trying to intervene. You. Thank you, and we would welcome this. It's just that it's completely yeah. one-sided discussion. So I, I don't want it. It should be neutral. We are we are not a one-sided discussion. Then you should I mean, have the patience to listen to me were presented thoroughly, and there's a lot that we can provide after this event. Thank you. Almost so, 19 Maite villages. Like, I would like now. 19 to... Maite villages completely 100% evicted, destroyed. Okay. Sorry. Thank you. Can you switch off the microphone, please? So I would like us to, to finish because we just finished the time for our event and for the, uh, the time allocated to have this room. I'm grateful for the panel for having shared with us and for the, your contribution. Um, I've been following personally as the World Evangelical Alliance very closely what is happening in India and Manipur and elsewhere. I'm very grateful for uh, your, your, what you shared with us and what you provided. What our hope is that India would grow into a more democratic, inclusive society and community where the government is supportive and protective of all the religious minorities and all the ethnic minorities and everyone in India. And, I, and yet again, I want to appreciate the panel for being here, for sharing, and for all the members of our coalition representing uh, various communities, religious and ethnic communities, for being part of this event. And again, once again, thank you for Ms. Al-Salim, and thank you also for Mr. Turkel, who were present with us and shared with us on the situation in India. Thank you so much, and until the next event, God bless you.